Welcome back folks to a brand new video. Summer is fast approaching and hopefully travel will be open this year. So what better way to showcase a two part video on some of Europe's amazing locations that can inspire you to visit. It's definitely going to be controversial. So here are 15 beautiful places to visit in Europe. This is part one, part two is coming soon. Now before you even watch this video, don't forget to hit that like button, obviously for the YouTube algorithm. Number one, Ruka Amadur. Ruka Amadur is a village atop a mountain in southwest France that rambles from the top of the village down the side of the mountain. It's a truly stunning place to visit and there certainly aren't many places in France quite like this. For the best views of the village, head over to the surrounding mountains opposite, with the valley in the middle, before you pop in to take in the sights more slowly. Travelling by car is by far the best way to see this location, but you can use other means. Number two, Cliffs of Moher. Few places exemplify the raw, untamed beauty of islands west coast like the Cliffs of Moher, a natural wonder that reaches 702 feet at the highest point. And while you might recognize them as the Cliffs of Insanity from the 1987 classic The Princess Bride, this wonder is hardly fiction as the cliffs are located just a 90 minute drive south of Galway. To get to the cliffs, you can rent a car or catch a shuttle bus from Doolin that will take you directly to the cliffs. It's a truly wonderful sight. Number 3. The Isle of Mull The Isle of Mull is known for its sandy beaches and quiet bays, with most visitors arriving via the colourful village of Tobermory. West facing Finn Bay is the spot for you sundowners, while walking up the Isle's highest peak Ben Moor rewards you with the views of sea locks. The Isle has attractions for all the family and offers a holiday where wildlife is around in every corner. As it's located off the west coast of Scotland, you are guaranteed some of the best views. Number 4. Caucasus Mountains After decades spent out of sight and out of mind for many travellers due in part to limited infrastructure and intermittent conflict with neighbouring Russia, this former Soviet Republic is attracting travellers who are tired of crowded mountain trails in the Alps or reservation only vineyards in France. The best way to witness the diversity of Georgia's terrain is on hiking trails. Winding through the Greater Caucasus mountain range dividing Europe from Asia. But the focus here 
is on the Ushguli village, a village of 200 people, 7,000 feet above sea level. A tiny tumble down kind of place, but well worth the trip. Number five, Yurkus Allah. Probably not a great place to swim, but this glacial lagoon in southeast Iceland offers boat tours among the icebergs floating in its waters. The best photo opportunities occur when the weather is bad. The murkier the skies, the bluer the icebergs appear. But once the boat tour is over, you can visit the aptly named Diamond Beach, where the lagoon flows out to the sea, and the black sands are strewn with transparent chunks of ice, which have been carved out by nature itself, an ever-changing outdoor sculptor. Number 6. Moravian Fields The Moravian Fields look like an oil painting, but these pastel coloured hills are as real as it gets. The Czech Republic's easternmost region is often referred to as the Moravian Tuscany, due to its uncanny resemblance to the rolling hills in Italy. Some say it could be even better. The area is an easy day trip from Prague, so it's not to be missed. Number 7. The Faroe Islands Located in the North Atlantic Ocean near Scotland are the Faroe Islands. Literally translating to Sheep Island, the mountainous region is made up of 18 islands in total and home to 70,000 sheep, outweighing the number of locals. But the island is strikingly beautiful, with picturesque mountains, jagged coastlines and green forests. Don't miss the waterfall, which looks straight out of a fairy tale, with water falling over rocky cliffs and a tiny village in the background. Number 8. Death Up in Albania's northern reaches, not far from the border with Montenegro, is the tiny mountain village of Theth. Home to just a handful of residents and surrounded by the magnificent Albanian Alps, Theth is certainly isolated, but by no means lacking in things to do. Within the village itself, visitors will find the tower a centuries-old lock-in tower, and in the surrounding national park, stunning waterfalls and the dramatic canyon await to be discovered. Number 9. Socha Valley The river Socha, which has a distinct emerald green colour, is considered to be one of the most beautiful rivers in Europe. Its water flows across waterfalls, small waterfalls and cascades, as well as through narrow rocky gorges. And along the way it has carved surprising canyons. For those of you who seek the adventurous water sports, will find nothing better than this natural beauty.
Number 10. Meteora There is no doubt that a visit to this impressive monastery's Meteora, perched atop massive boulders, is a must. Built by monks looking for absolute solitude, these monasteries offer mesmerizing views over the plains. While there are 27 monasteries in the region, only six are in operation and open to the public. Whether you decide to visit them by bus, by foot or by car, these are a must see. Number 11. The Azores São Miguel is the most populous island in the Portuguese Azores, with a lively city centre and plenty of cultural excursions. But it's also named the Green Island, thanks to its lush mountains that stretch out in every direction. From enchanting waterfalls to surreal crater lakes, amazing hiking trails and of course, a UNESCO listed nature reserve. The Azores is one of the highlights of Europe and one not to be missed. Tatev Monastery. This 1,000 year old monastery has endured a history almost as dramatic as its clifftop setting, with imperial invaders taking turns ransacking it and even the odd earthquake shaking things up. The legend has it that the name comes from the time an apprentice fell from the tower and called out for God to give him wings. But one thing's for sure. This is one of the best things to see in Armenia. So its location atop an isolated plateau makes it one of the most visually spectacular tourist attractions in the Caucasus. So put that down on your bucket list. Number 13. Celia Landsfoss. Lying in the south of the island is Celia Landsfoss, one of Iceland's most famous and photographed natural attractions. Plunging deep some 60 meters off the top of a cliff, the stunning waterfall shimmers in the sun before merging in a cloud of spray with a pretty pool just below. So when visiting, a path leads you behind the waterfall, but do bring a raincoat as you will get absolutely soaking wet. So it's best in the summer months. Number 14. Lauterbrunnen. Lauterbrunnen is one of those typical postcard Swiss towns. It's nestled in a breathtaking valley and famed for its imposing rocky cliffs and roaring waterfalls, two of which are casually located in the heart of the settlement. Discovering its traditional architecture and colourful flower boxes is a must, and a holiday here is perfect for the outdoorsy type. With plenty of hiking opportunities and adventure activities, or simply just being present in the moment. Number 15. 
number 15. How's that? Now I was hesitant to bring this up. I wasn't going to use this location, but when you really look at it, no matter how busy it gets, it's still one of the best places to visit in Europe. This Alpine village has plenty to offer. A short walk from the market square takes you to one of the most photographed locations in the world. Haustadt's delightful mountainside homes reflected in the glossy waters of the lake, framed by the snow-capped mountains and beyond. Don't forget the salt mines, which are one of the world's oldest and deepest. So there you have it folks, some wonderful places to add to your bucket list. Whether you would have chosen these locations or not, I'm pretty sure that not everyone has been to these destinations. If it's your first time to the channel, there are plenty more locations in the playlists, so go and check those out and let me know what you think. Other than that, I will see you all in part two. As always, be good, be kind and be careful. Peace.